I'm always fascinated by those mega mansions that cost millions upon millions of dollars, yet they look awful to live in. I've made a ton of content looking at bad mansions and bad expensive apartments and all of that. And today I learned about one that's pretty interesting. It's called The Invisible House. It's currently listed for 18 million and you're basically paying to live in a shipping container that's surrounded by mirrors. It's planted right in the desert and it is one single hallway that is sectioned off into like three or four rooms. And there's a giant pool that's in the middle, which kind of just acts more like a booby trap than anything because it takes up so much space. It'll be like a little moat you fall in and get frustrated with. There's also just a single TV there, but since everything's made out of mirrors, they couldn't mount it on anything. So it's a rolling TV and it reminds me of something out of middle school classrooms when they roll around like the projector and stuff. It's just bad. Like I think it's just a horrible design. Right now, it's mainly been an Airbnb for celebrities that want to party there, which I guess makes sense because it's kind of just like this remote location in the desert that has a lot of like RGB light up like lights all over the place. So it could be like a decent party spot. But to actually own it for 18 million seems like the biggest waste of money possible. You're better off owning anything else because it just it seems terrible to live in. Recently, one of my favorite YouTubers, Innis, actually did a tour of the property, and I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like and why I think it's such a pile of shit. The world famous Invisible House. I was originally imagining like the Invisible Boat Mobile. Invisible House. Now, this section of yeah, the property but why? has a foundation that goes into the ground, but on the other side, we have two concrete Like who's living here? Lex Luthor? Trying to avoid Superman? Where we have the privacy to the entry. I feel like the walkway kind of gives it away though. If the idea is to be invisible, the mirrors are completely betrayed by the walkway right in front of them. Now if you took away the walkway, I could see it like maybe confusing people just reflecting off of the rocks and shit, but the walkway is just, it's a dead giveaway. Little park. Nice, I can see why it's bundled together because this is fucking unusable land it looks like. So you buy, and this is, a far cry from being invisible, I can see it from up here e easily. The mirrors don't even work to reflect anything because it's not on top of the thing either. I, this is terrible. This is a terribly disguised invisible house. But yeah, this is all fucking unusable land here if you were going to try and make something out of it. Unless you wanted to build other properties on it, which I guess you could do. Just have like an entire invisible neighborhood. Maybe there is a whole neighborhood there. Maybe that's what these roads lead to. I just can't even see the houses. It's so camouflaged and enjoy the scenery. This is incredible. I've never been in a place like this before. What scenery, yeah. man? I gotta be honest with you. I, I just don't find looking at sand all that interesting. It's like the opposite of scenery. It's like the deprivation of scenery. It's just looking at sand and rocks endlessly here. And, and on top of that, they have these invisible branded towels throughout the property where you can hardly see it. How cool is that? I like that. Hardly see what? Invisible branded towel, I can see the towel just fine. Or is the brand on it invisible? Because in that case, it's like every towel I own. Wait, what the fuck do you mean? In invisible branded towel? Is he making a joke? I can't tell. Am I being had right now? Can I want to show this. Is there a single side. TV here? Or so this property internet? is situated right next to a hillside with these boulders mm -hmm. and this scenery. It's like a movie. Yeah, and the reflection yeah, it's like a fucking all... horror movie. This would be like the last thing I'd want. These rocks extend above the house. Like, let's say some some rogue villain is out here looking for my invisible house, and he hits one of these rocks, and it comes tumbling through the house and fucking blasts it. It's like, it's a hazard, I think. I would hate that. That shit looks terrible. Plus, I don't like to go out there and look at it. What, just look at this huge pile of rocks? Like, what if one jostles loose, hits me while I'm looking at it? This is the coolest chess set I've ever seen in my life. It's all brushed metal pieces. It's such a curated accessory and check this out. I don't know this about the coolest chess set. It, it looks like they're playing against the, the KKK over here. This is a dumb chess set. This doesn't, this isn't cool. This is a kind of goofy. The owner's next project. They're calling it the Starburst House. It is built. Whoever is building these needs to lose their architectural license ASAP. This is stupid. This is dumb. He is putting stupid houses in the desert and he's getting away with it. <laughs> this is terrible. These are terrible. It's a waste of resources. What the fuck is this? It's piles of shipping containers assorted sillily. S silly. 
out of 20 containers. Man, literally everything in this house sucks. Who would ever want to sit on that chair? Just have my ass cheeks like poking through these holes? That looks super uncomfortable and they're clearly made out of metal, not even plastic. And yeah, I feel like we're on Mars right now in a futuristic modern mm. home. This is... I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah. Why? I, I, no, I, nothing here really r screams futuristic to me. It's, it's, it's just actually like a huge hallway with some shit put in there and, and a, a pool. I don't know, nothing really like screaming futuristic. Like there's not even an actual ceiling here. Like it's literally just open. I don't know, this doesn't scream futuristic at all. And on the other side, we have a walk-in shower. And the nice. mirror that I just showed you is actually not a mirror. It's a glass piece where we can see the other side, but they cannot see in. Why in would fact, why <laughs> this pocket door is <laughs> What is the thought process behind that? So you have a secret like one-way interrogation mirror here while you're showering? What purpose could that possibly fucking serve? To spy on your dinner guests while you're showering? That looks cool. The opposite of invisible, but that looks cool. This looks insane at night. Very RGB gamer-esque.